Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday. Happy weekend. I just wanted to tell everyone thank you so much for sharing my video, for offering words of encouragement and support, and for your prayers. Um, I left some things out um, my last video that were kind of important, and I took notes this time so I could try to stay on track. Um, my brain kind of wanders and I have some memory loss issues. It just kind of comes with the territory. So I'm hoping to stay a little bit more on track, a little less emotional. Um, and um, I just want to get some more points across. Of course, my main goal is to go viral, not me personally, but for Mal de Debarkment to go viral um, for awareness um, so we can get some help here so um some of the um I didn't really clarify like the motion the prolonged motion events would be um like train long car rides people have actually talked about just driving over bridges like long bridges and it setting them off or even riding like a high-speed elevator, um, going on a train ride, a plane ride, cruises. Um, the cruise cruises seem to be the um, the main the main one. Um, people have talked about going under anesthesia and coming back out um, not the same, and then just spontaneous. Um, I talked about, you know, the feeling of, of being drunk, but, um, it's, I, uh, it's really, it's, it's feeling like you are stuck on a boat and you cannot get off the, the physical, it's a rocking, a bobbing and a swaying feeling. Um, along with that comes memory loss, confusion. It's hard to, um, maintain a conversation. you lose words. You, um, can't, keep your thoughts organized you get a lot of headaches i'm reading my notes <laughs> um headfulness uh, pressure in your ears like your ears can't pop um when i'm sitting i get this vibrating in my body um when i'm laying it's a quaking feeling like i will look over to see if my dog is on my bed scratching herself because i it feels like my bed is quaking and I've got um my co-workers pitched in and actually got me a weighted blanket which has helped a lot with the um the vibrating and the quaking sensations um hasn't taken away completely all of a hundred percent of the time but has reduced it significantly as you can see I'm actually quaking right now a little bit um as you can see, I'm in my little spot. That is not by coincidence. I have a hard time just being in my house, even with the lights off. I uh, just electronics, the Wi-Fi. Um, you should just get me a little little tinfoil hat. Call it good. Um, but yeah, just electronics and Wi-Fi. All of that um, affects my brain. So I spend most of my time in my um, my little paradise out here I'm gonna show you it's quite it's quite special <laughs> um actually I love it out here it's all kinds of pretty little birds and become a bird watcher now instead of an ER nurse it's quite a change of pace <laughs> um About a month and a half ago, I took my kids to the beach and just looking at the waves um, for a whopping 10 seconds um, set me back about a month and a half. I thought that was a safe bet. Things got weird. I could lay down while well, things got real weird. Definitely had to lay down. Um, so it's just really, really, um, you know, I cried a lot in my last video. Um, you know, I mentioned crying just about not being able to go to the store, but it's just so much deeper than that. Just like not even being able to do things with my kids. And that's the hardest part. Like, 
you know, not doing, being able to do things with my children or, you know, go to, my husband and I used to do everything together and, you know, it's really limited us as a family and, you know, I, I really got stuck, stuck in a, um, a dark place. Uh, for a while, jumped on that pity party train and um, had a hard time jumping off and I really go back and forth with that. But you have to choose joy in your circumstances. If you get stuck, if you get stuck, like it's really hard to get out of that place. And, um, you know, luckily I have my faith to stand on and um, that's probably the only thing that has that's helped me um pull out of out of a really dark place um and just do not get stuck in sorrow if you're in a place of um feeling hopeless you can always reach out to me um i'm there for you but you're never alone um, there's always a purpose for your season. Um, and so I feel like right now in this season, this is my purpose is to um, raise awareness and, um, and to find the valuable lessons in this is, you know, to be kind and um, and to choose joy. And so back to my notes here because I'm getting a little sidetracked um, as far as the the symptoms go um, a lot of headaches high pressure fullness um, predispositions for this um, there's not a, a lot understood and everybody's um, symptoms everybody is is very um, different so somebody's experience may be very different from another so also take that into consideration and um when i had mentioned the emotion triggered it's um i trigger myself like i'm a hand talker so i'll start talking i'll talk with my hands and trigger my own self so it's crazy like i need to i need to work on that but so take that into consideration if you ever meet someone with this um Maybe put your hands behind your back when you're talking to them because it, it will, if, if they are um, visually triggered people, um, it will trigger them. So um, I, I get triggered a lot by um, things moving around me and cars and people and even my own dog. And, um, but some things that they they um, believe are, um, pre predispose you to this are, um, a history of migraines. They think there is a hormonal connection, um, just because they're, uh, it mainly affects women. Um, I did happen to, um, TMI, sorry, cover your ears if you don't want to hear this. Um, I did happen to start my cycle on, on the ship and there has been, um, women that I have spoken with in this, uh, situation same thing happened to them um so there could be a link there so if you're planning a cruise try to plan it um if you have a history of migraines um if you've had a recent uh medication change and um try to plan it not around your anywhere around your cycle um there also um if you've had any history of just try to think back um of issues with uh in the past with uh, travel if you've ever felt funny after a train ride or after being on a like a houseboat like for me I, I went on a houseboat a three-day um trip to uh, Lake Shasta and felt really weird for a few days didn't think anything of it felt really weird after a plane trip for a few days when I was I was 11 and was very very sick and just thought it was nerves because I was you know living with my foster family and a new fa foster family and you know it most certainly could have could have been you know 
a very short episode of this. So just things to take into consideration if you're planning on, um, on, um, cruising. Also, there seems to be maybe a correlation with, um, a history of head trauma. Um, also a history of, uh, potentially, um, PTSD. Um, so just things to consider. Um, please continue to share my videos. I do want to go viral, not me personally, but I want, I want this to go viral. I want, um, medical, as many medical, medical professionals eyes on this as possible i want as many eyes on this as possible there are people out there that are suffering that um don't even know what's going on with them i want them to see this and to be like oh my gosh that is this is what i've been dealing with and you know and to be able to go to their doctor and and um be able to advocate for themselves so um just keep sharing um, please, um, just so we can raise awareness and potentially get funding for this. And, um, the more we share, subscribe to my videos. Um, I'm going to keep doing this. I'm passionate, um, ab about this. I'm also passionate about, um, my son, my youngest son has Marfan syndrome. So I'm also going to start doing videos, um, for him as well. Um, his syndrome is is also very rare, um, not as rare as this, and there is more funding and research and medical treatment available for that, but is, his is much more serious. His is actually life-threatening. Mine is not. I, I have no, um, there's no danger to my life. Um, it's just, you know, sucks. Um, it's affected my life profoundly, um, but Anyways, I'm kind of going off on a rab rabbit hole here. Which, um, anyways, guys, choose to to bleh. <laughs> oh man, choose joy. Don't get stuck in sorrow. Don't let sorrow the. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't let sorrow steer your ship. And there's a purpose for every season. <clears throat> and um thank you so much for watching and listening again thank you for your support and your prayers and um god bless have a good sunday bye